I have both of these quite exciting operating systems available in my left side I have one UI 7 right side we have oxygen OS 15 both of these skins Android skins are so amazing and all of and both of these skins have their own fan base so let's just quickly find out the differences and minor differences or major ones in this one make sure to check this video till the end the quick settings panel have some minor changes as compared to both of these and with these ones of course the one which is uh, oxygen os 15 in my right side we have two styles of quick settings panel available and same thing goes with one ui 7 if you swipe down from the right top you will see this expanded quick settings panel click on panel settings choose this together option and then click on done you will see two styles for example now in moving into oxygen os 15 you can see we have these options available with one ui 7 this sort of quick settings panel is here in my personal opinion yes one ui 7 quick settings panel seems to be quite impressive one as compared to oxygen os 15. moving on to some of the lock screen themes present in this case in this case we have some more lock screen themes available with oneplus or you can say oxygen os 15. Some options like blur wallpaper and some theming options. We have this option named as flux themes. Some of these themes are pre-installed, pre-built. We also have some more wallpaper options and so on. So in the terms of theming, I guess Oxygen OS 15 have a lot of options available for you. Like one of my favorite features in Oxygen OS 15 is the flux theme. So options to customize these words, etc. Of course, some features are missing from Oxygen OS 15. Like you cannot use custom words. You, you cannot do custom text in this case. But yes, everything has some advantages or disadvantages. But moving on to OnePlus or sorry, moving on to One UI 7, you will see some options and customizations a bit similar to iOS you can say because we have some options for lock screen styles we have options for lock screen fonts clock styles clock fonts new UI you can resize the clock you can add some widgets there some of the things you can also do with oxygen OS 15 but some of the things are not possible so yes both of these skins have some good things but in yes right now again if you monitor it closely you will see that Oxygen OS is a bit behind as compared to One UI 7. Both of these operating systems have their own style of dynamic island or you can say live activities. In Oxygen OS 15, it is similar to dynamic island, but in in One Plus or I'm sorry, in One UI 7, we have that pop up or that notification pill available in the status bar. But in the in the lock screen, you will see a major difference. In One UI 7, at the bottom. You will see this kind of pop-up available but otherwise in oneplus or you can say oxygen os 15 there's nothing like that so in this case a plus point to oxygen os uh, sorry on to one one ui 7. we also have the now bar available in this case with the new update of one ui 7 it's not present with oxygen os 15 right now while making this video but one ui 7 yes it brings you this now bar which is a very useful thing so far you can simply manage the live activities the uh, ui seems to be quite impressive one too unfortunately it's missing from oxygen os 15 so again a bit plus point to one ui 7 as far as i know we also have the toggles available in the quick settings panel for media player and it brings you new animation new slider things and a lot more things quite polished in quick settings panel the ui i'm talking about with one ui 7 one more thing in one ui 7 which is a great advantage and yes unfortunately this is one of the best things that it doesn't even these some sort of options are not even available with custom rooms because i made videos on some custom rooms so it matters a lot like in this case we have home up module available click on task changer so you can customize the recent panel layout like this one and it's so smooth this is just one of the examples i'm showing you with one ui 7 so in case you are not actually into one ui you have never used one ui you might fall in love with one ui in the terms of features customizations and everything done by default everything is available to do without any kind of root or etc one thing which actually again missing from oxygen os 15 is as you can see we do not have the option to archiving the app our app archive is not present but in one UI, this option is present at the bottom and the second number you will see archive option is there it's available with android 15 by the way in the stock android also 
One more thing which is actually an advantage for One UI 7 is the Galaxy AI. We have AI options available everywhere. Some of the AI options are already a part of Oxygen OS 15 also, but in many cases, Galaxy AI is far ahead as compared to Oxygen OS 15. So the conclusion basically right now is, if you want to use a cleaner UI experience and alongside with all the features and so on, One UI 7 is definitely a clear winner. But if you need minimalism, not more features, uh, maybe it will take some time to change, but we have the option for Oxygen OS 15 too. It's totally up to you, but I will definitely choose One UI 7. Thanks for watching.